Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will learn how to supervise agents that we build in Microsoft Copilot Studio in apps using a feature called Agent Feed. Here, we can connect multiple autonomous Copilot Studio agents and check all the agent activity in one go plus take actions. I will also show how to build an autonomous agent from scratch for the demo. So let's begin. For the agent feed, I need agents. Let's begin with creating a claims review agent. In this entire solution, we will build from scratch by leveraging Plan Designer. I will provide the description. I need to manage reimbursement claims in a simple way. Employees can purchase items that improve physical, financial, or mental health, and these purchases can be reimbursed. My requirements a single app for managing claims. Employees will submit the claims. An AI agent should automatically review the claims and provide a recommendation according to the company guidelines. Let's click generate. Plan designer begins creating the blueprint for addressing the business problem that I described, defines the user requirements. I'll say this looks good. Starts framing the data model. Here, I will go to show details, which will take me to the data workspace. For the purpose of the demo, I will keep the data model very simple. I will only keep the main claims table. I go to view data. It has three columns, claim title, purchase date, and amount. I'll want two more columns. So I'll ask Copilot to build it for me. Add columns for claim status and expense category. Claim status, I'll edit this column. Submitted, approved, rejected. I'll keep these three options. And by default, any claim that's submitted, I want to start with the submitted status. I'll update. My table schema is ready. It will also come with some sample data that AI has generated. I'll click back. My data model, I'll say it looks good. And now the solutions agent in Plan Designer will recommend the tech that I can enable for the business problem that I stated. Two main things I need, an app for employees to submit the claim and my claim review agent. The tech recommendations, they look good. Let's save our tables. All of the artifacts that Plan Designer will generate, they will be stored in a solution. I'll click Save. Next, let's create the model driven app. The app is created. I'll click Publish. And let's create the claim evaluation agent. My agent has been set up. My claim table has been added as knowledge. The agent is using generative orchestration. So let's provide it the instructions. You are responsible for reviewing employee reimbursement claims and assigning a claim status of approved or rejected. Approve the claim if the amount is less than 500. The item or service directly supports physical or mental health and it is not office equipment. Reject the claim if it is $500 or more. These are my company guidelines. Now, in order for the agent to approve or reject, we need to give it the tool to take this action. For that, under tools, let's go and add a tool. My table is in Dataverse. The agent will be updating the status of the claim. Update a row in selected environment. It creates the connection using my account. I'll click add and configure. The name, I'll call it review the claim. Description, review the claim based on company guidelines. The tool is using my connection. Here I'll use the maker provided credentials 
for the agent to perform the action. Environment. I'll pick custom value. Choose an environment. I'll pick the current environment we are in. Table name, custom value. I'll search for claim. Here is my claims table. Row ID. This we will let AI dynamically fill. We'll go to add input and pick claim status. Notice the data type is number. Claim status is a choice column. This is the concept of option sets in Dataverse. You can think about these as key value pairs. The number correlates to the value. So for claim status, we will want the agent to dynamically fill it in. However, let's go to customize and give it a description so the agent can use this information to put the correct number value. If approved, put, I'll copy the value for approved and place it right here. If rejected, put the following number. Done. I'll click save. I'll go back to overview. My tool is ready. Let's edit the instructions. I will say use, put a slash, and I can pick my tool called review the claim. I'll click save. I'm asking the agent to use this tool to perform the action. For the agent to act autonomously when a new claim is submitted, we will set up a trigger for the agent. The trigger will be when a row is added in Microsoft Dataverse. The trigger name, I'll say when a row is submitted, creates the connection to Copilot Studio and Dataverse. I'll click next. Change type, added. So when a row is added in my claims table, scope organization, and in the instructions, it uses the content from body. Let's create the trigger. This in turn behind the scenes creates an agent flow. The trigger has been added. I'll click close. Here's the trigger. Let's click on it. And this will launch the agent flow in Power Automate. The flow triggers when an item is added in my claims table. And then it will send a prompt to our copilot, which is our claim evaluation agent. And the prompt is as follows. Now let's change this. Instead of sending the body that includes the entire record details, Let's be very specific to the agent. First thing I would like to pass is the row ID. That's the unique identifier of the record. Next, I'll give it the title of the claim. And then I will provide the amount of the claim. These are the three key pieces of information that my agent would need. I'll go ahead and publish my agent flow. The agent flow is published. My agent is ready. Let me go ahead and publish my agent as well. To test the trigger, we have the option for test trigger. This looks at any recent triggered runs of the flow. I don't have one because I need to first go ahead and create a claim. So let's go ahead and add a claim. In my app, I'll go ahead and create a new claim. I'll say running shoes, my purchase date, my purchase price. I will go ahead and save this. Here's my record, the claim status submitted. The trigger, let's test. There is no event yet. That's because the flow has not yet triggered. My flow has triggered successfully. 
in the agent, if we head over to activity, we can see the actions that the agent has performed. The last step that the agent executed was running our tool, which is review the claim. You can see the agent got initiated with the following details and then call the review the claim action to update the status. In my app, if I look at running shoes, the claim is approved because it's a valid claim and it is less than $500. Let's try another one. Ergonomic chair, more than the amount. Submit my request. Once the flow is triggered, here is another activity. It's gone ahead and completed the request. In this case, the claim has been rejected as it's greater than the desired amount. So the agent is autonomously able to handle my claims reimbursement based upon my company policy. With Copilot Studio, I can create multiple autonomous agents. How do I track the activity of all these agents? Agent feed in Power Apps makes apps a central hub for human agent collaboration by showing a complete activity feed of what agents do for them wherever they are in the app. Let's see how we can add an agent feed. In my model driven power app, I'll head over to agents. Here is agent feed. Currently, I do not have any agents added to my feed. These are my agents. These are autonomous agents. I can go ahead and start adding these agents to my feed in this app. I've gone ahead and added four of my published autonomous agents in my agent feed. I'll click publish and that's all I have to do. Let's refresh our model driven power app. Once agent feed is enabled, it appears at the top of the sitemap in our model driven app. Here is agent feed. When I click this, I can see a feed in the side panel of my app. And this includes all the activities that have taken place across all my agents. I can select specific agents. Here I've only selected my claim evaluation agent. And these were the two activities that took place. The side panel, we can even expand to go full screen. There are actions that are completed by the user. There are actions completed by the agent. There are scenarios where the agent needs assistance. This is where agent feed shines. Now in the agent feed, we get the last step taken by the agent a timestamp of the most recent activity and the agent's name and icon. To do shows actions that need our attention, like those that have failed, completed with errors, or are waiting for our input. Let's take an example of one activity. If I select this, this will give us all the details of every action that the agent took for that specific activity. This agent of mine triggers when a new email arrives, creates a purchase order in Dataverse, and then sends a reply email. The record that it created for Dataverse, because we are in the context of a model-driven app, this is clickable. If I select this, it will show that specific record that it created right here in my application. Now let's focus on our agent, the claim management agent. Let's select this. For ergonomic chair, this is clickable. If I select, this takes me directly to that specific record. Now let's get back to our agent and let's update the instructions. Or unknown. Now there is no status called unknown, but I want to create a scenario where the agent requires our input. 
I'll update the instruction to also include set the claim to unknown if the claim title is too vague, if the health benefit is unclear or indirect. I'll save. I'll create a new claim. My claim title supplies. What type of supplies? I'm not defining. Let's say $50. Submit. Claim status submitted. Once the flow triggers, if we explore the agent activity, the status is waiting for user. Why? Well, because based on my instructions, it was not able to decide what should the claim status be. If we explore the transcript, it says, please provide the claim status. So the agent needs human assistance. Back to our app, let's go to agent feed. Now, for my claim evaluation agent, I have a to-do item. I have to review the claim. Let's select. Here is the record. I simply click. It will take me directly to that record. Now I will take the decision. In this case, I'll approve it, save it. And now that I've completed the task, right here, I can mark it as complete. Check, done. Back to my feed. These were completed by the agent autonomously. This one was completed by Reza. This is the power of agent feed. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.